Hey folks, thanks for joining us. So, cute little story for you. Many, many years ago when we originally put this Jeep together, we put together for a shop Jeep for just, you know, running around, picking up parts, commuting, just typical day-to-day -day bull crap. We never had any intentions to use this Jeep off-road. Ever since Eric has virtually stolen it from us, uh, he now is wanting to go do more and more and more and more adventures. When we originally put this Jeep together, we just wanted to put a cool looking bump around the front, but we didn't want the cutout for the winch because we never planned on putting a winch on this. So we called Rusty's off-road. I said, hey man, I like the bumper, we want it. I don't want the winch holes in it. Can you just cut us a custom without the holes and have it powder coated? After a little bit of begging and bleeding, he finally made us one. Well, now we got to sell some a phony situation. Here we are all these years later, we want to put a winch on this thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this bumper off. We're going to plasma cut out some holes and get it all set up to put the winch bumper or the winch behind the bumper, uh, kind of like what it's designed from Rusty's to begin with. And uh, then we're going to send it out and get it repowder coated. So let's take this thing off. Let's see what we got to do and how we got to figure this out to cut some holes in this thing and get some crap mounted. country 9,500 pounds synthetic winch on this Jeep. We're just trying to be very cost effective. We don't anticipate a lot of long, heavy, hard pulls. So the rough country winch is going to really do its job well. We've sold a bazillion of these things. We've only ever literally warranty like maybe one or two. Um, we've actually had great results out of these winch for a very, very cost effective winch. Uh, the synthetic rope's good. They come with a black hoss fair lead, but Eric wanted a red one. Why red? I don't really know, but he wants red. He's driving the damn thing, so we're doing a red fairly. Um, and then he doesn't like the hooks. Neither one of us do. We prefer the closed winching system, so we're going to do a flat link on it as well. And then we jumped on to Amazon, and for a whopping, like, $20, we got the wireless winch controller. Um, we did talk about these wireless winch controllers back when we were, uh, had Bob's Jeep on the trail ride. They're crazy cheap. They're probably junk. But we've been running for, like, a year. Bob's had his for a couple years. I've had mine for, like, a year, year and a half, like, Honestly, I don't know. I expect it to be an utter complete piece of crap, but for 20 bucks they work great. So we're going to toss one of those into the control panel. Um, being that this thing is recessed behind the bumper, it'll just be a lot easier not having to always try to hook up a power cord for the remote. Uh, just being wireless, just so much darn easier when the winch is hidden like that. So let's get this winch unboxed and see what all comes in it. Should be just typical winch components. Instructions. I don't need another man's point of view. Comes with a hook, which we're not going to use. We're going to use the flat link. Comes with all your mounting hardware. We're going to use that. And this is the ground cable that goes from the bottom of the winch motor up to your battery. We're going to need that. Winch remote, which we'll keep in the vehicle in case for any reason the Chinese wireless winch controller does fail. Um, but I've been carrying mine for several years and so does Bob's. We've never had to use them now that we're wireless. But it is a Chinese piece of crap off Amazon for 20 bucks. So we'll, uh, we'll keep that around just in case. And then this is the black fair lead that, uh, it's just aluminum fair lead that the winch does come with. But like I said, Eric wanted a red one. So uh, we'll trade them out and give them a red one. We don't really care. And there. Is the 9,500 pound Rough Country synthetic winch. It's already got three eighths inch synthetic rope on it. They're really, for what it is, they're pretty darn good. Uh, we've had really, really good luck with these things. They're probably on par with all of your other Chinese winches as far as like Smitty Belt and everybody else. 
Well, I will say from what I've seen, uh, they're a million times better than the Harbor Freight ones. I've actually watched one of those melt down and try to destroy a couple Jeeps once. It became a very dangerous situation, so I'm not a fan of the Harbor Freight junk. Um, this and Smitty Build, I'd say probably similar quality maybe, but I don't know. I'd stay away from Smitty Build just because I'm not a fan of the company that owns them. These, we've actually had. Rolling up, Uber, black Cadillac, high heel boots, and a sexy body full of tats. Baby's bad, oh baby's hella bad. After her, there ain't no coming back. Wanna take a run at that? I think she's feeling me. Turn it up a few degrees. My imagination of her body gets the best of me. Oh gosh, she's such a tease. Bitten lips, bruised knees. I'm addicted to her, need her touching me. Cause she got a bad little waist, and we tearing down this place. Off the liquor that we chase, got some need. To the face, baby, I don't need no space Coming closer for a taste And I'll show you how I make everything just fade away Cause she's like sex, drugs, cocaine, body so insane Jealous of the clothing that she wears up on that tight frame All game, no shame, baby, can't get a play I feel like an addict cause she's sex, drugs, cocaine She could get you high, all the dope. We've got the winch fitted, so we got this all cut out. It's all set up for the fair lead now. We're gonna send this out to get sandblasted and uh, media blasted, whatever you wanna call it, and powder coated. So as soon as it comes back, we'll get this thing put on, and then we're gonna do some custom wiring and mount the control box for the winch and stuff uh, out of harm's way. Not a lot of room behind the bumper, so we're gonna kind of have to customize. <laughs> Came back from powder coat, had this done locally here to elite powder coating here in town. Uh, just went with the same satin finish that Rusty's Off Road uses. We're gonna set the winch in it and give it kind of preemptively set up a little bit. We're gonna take the wiring control box off of the winch and mount that custom behind us to give us a whole bunch more room. So I'll start setting the winch up. Eric's gonna start doing some wiring and get this thing put together. <laughs> test fit the bumper with the winch on here what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cut this out it's just kind of a rough drawing I'm gonna cut that out so that way the handle for the winch still functions um, I'm gonna do some clearancing on the back side I'm gonna drill a hole over here 
so we can feed our wiring through the winch control panel that we're going to mount underneath here. And we're going to put that winch control box right here. Uh, i got to do some clearancing underneath there. This has got like a raised lip on the back side I'm going to smooth off. Uh, so we're just going to make a couple cuts, throw some paint on it, and then we can probably do the final installation of this bumper. All right, so we did a little bit of cut and grinding. We opened up a hole here. This is for the handle for the winch. We don't plan on really using that much. For the most part, we're just going to use the wireless remote that we installed and use it to power out the rope to use the winch. But if you had a lot of intricate stuff you had to do, you know, a bunch of snatch block work, uh, if you had a really long one, we could still reach underneath here and activate that handle. So we made some room for that. We got a nice big hole here and split some uh, fuel line and put it on there to protect any sharp edges. That's where we're going to run all the battery cables through and all the control cables. Uh, and then we just drilled a couple holes. We're going to mount this box right back here. And then we also notched the bottom of this support. Uh, so if we ever had to, if that cheap Amazon wireless winch controller failed, we could still get our remote to this, the conventional corded remote. So we let this paint dry for just a brief second. We're going to bolt this all together, see if it works. We got it fully installed. We got all of our wiring hidden, as you've seen. We got everything wired up, little Amazon remote. Bam. Bam, 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 bam! Maybe someday we'll add some lights to it, but for now, we're gonna call that a wrap for today. If you like what you see, please uh, share, subscribe. See you next Wednesday. Tacos. You don't like tacos. You can't fucking suck me while I'm eating it. That's fucking awesome. There are two left.